Chapter 1, May 9th, 2093. Detective Dave Barnes stood at the shore of the Mississippi River Lake, watching the river rescue crew bringing the body into the boat, wrapped it in a body bag and come towards shore. The crew had taken all the underwater pictures of how the young woman had been weighed down with a concrete block and sent them to his office. So they were on his tablet already. Now it was a matter for Laura Jones, the area's medical examiner, to find as much detail as she could. Hopefully, it would be enough to help them to find whoever killed the woman. Got her, got her cell phone? It was still in the jeans pocket, one of the officers told him. Holding up the cries, they leaned closer. Good, it's male made waterproof one. So thankfully, all oh, but some faraway cheating bones were waterproof now. That will give them a lot of information, since so carried a new GPS chip as well. But all of that would take hours for their tech bloke guys to do. So couldn't help, can't help him, couldn't help him yet. He sighed and left his crew to finish up. Got in his personal vehicle and flew back to his office in the Homicide Division of the Police Department and Mrs. Menopopolis. Her DNA would be sent to him by wireless transfer in minutes after he got her to the ME's office. Thank God no longer we had wait weeks for lab results as they did years ago. Now, now each office had its own small machine to spit out details of personal DNA and small samples in minutes. And he would put the that info into a computer and identify the very person immediately. One of the things database, 70 years ago, the third devastating world war and the resulting chaos the world leaders had branded together to get tougher crime. Enough is enough. He set out the world DNA by database for the United States. A few small countries rejected, but eventually caved but under strong nation's pressure. Strong nation's pressure. At first, everyone who rested for any reason, had to give his own, her, his own DNA, registered as a requirement, release from bail. All who were already in the prison had to give, them, had to give DNA samples. All law enforcement people were given access to huge voluntary DNA records. People were given to ancestry groups and others were combined into the world database. They had con- considerable screaming about that. But eventually public safety was voted more important in pri- personal privacy. Immediately after these rules were impaid, implied, implemented, crime began to drop as everyone realised that perpetrators were now much easier to identify and persecute. A number of unsolved crimes became minuscule and that made headlines on everyone's phones. People soon knew crime would no longer pay. Seeing these results, the United Nations soon voted for giving DNA integration mandatory for all new birth certificates. They began demanding it for everyone, getting passports, driving licenses, entering a school, college or hospital. Eventually that covered almost everyone. Now almost everyone's DNA was entered at birth, no matter where in the world he lived. Well, Dave, though, except for a few outlying areas, escaped the nearest government notice. There were still some in the heavenly parts of the world, mostly due to high or low temperatures and funny to humans. Even though there's a common process of de- desalinating the ocean's waters, made irrigating the former larger deserts areas practical, so they've been turned to rich farmers, end of the world short food produce, bringing prosperity to most of the world. Dave went to the coffee machine to brew himself a cup, fresh cup of coffee. She blinked red at him, saying it was out of beans. He sighed and looked for more, a cupboard, then filled the holder and reset the order. This time the machine whirled into the ground some fresh greens and brewed him coffee. He got back to his desk, sat in his chair, and told his computer to wake up and check his email. He waited a bit to scan his retina, make sure he was an authorised person, then obey his command. Yes, there was DNA results. He uncovered it and then logged it into the database once more, going through a retina scan, verify the proper reverse credentials to put inside the high security information. Once that system is set to him, he plastered the woman's extremely detailed DNA result into the search machine. While he waited for DNA to come back, 
He kept his regular message. His mother had lived in the next suburb to the west, wanted me sure to come to the Sunday dinner. Could his sister Sue, coming from Los Angeles, would bring a daughter for them to meet. He ran a hand for her as well, Morty Burrow and Harry and Grimmest. Of course, you didn't miss that, even though the new babies made him nervous. He hoped his investigation would be cleared up, and then he would pretend his mother would be very upset. Oh well, he had five days. No problem, most cases are cleared up in my time. He did, wouldn't they? He drank his coffee, made himself another cup. Soon the results are back, complete with the DNA picture and current address. The dead woman was Lisa Ann Kelly. 22 years old, long blonde hair, blue eyes, a waitress by trade, currently employed at the Rain Rice Vessel and Maplewood and suburb of Midland Properties. She'd been reported missing about 10 days ago by her parents. List of uh, family members and known close friends followed. Their names and dresses included. He printed it all out and then went to set the document to his table, tablet, to take, to take it with him. He sighed. Next to the heart, there was a harbour. He hated the job and following next to kingdom of death. Life had changed for many, but he who the emotions are still much the same as they've been for thousands of years. Losing a loved one still hurt as much as ever. <laughs>